Namaste to all learners. My name is Nikul Patel. Topic for the today's video is selection of manufacturing process. In this video, we are going to learn about different criteria which are majorly affect the selection procedure for particular product. We can manufacture a product with the help of number of processes, but only one is good at economic point of view. For example, you can manufacture a step bar with the help of forging process or with the help of casting process or with the help of machining process. All these processes gives different result at the end. Here, we can generally classify the criteria into two different groups. First one is criteria based on product features and second one is based on cost or economics. In product features, criteria related to dimension, size, shape of the product with tolerances, surface finish, strength and so on are included. And in cost or economics, criteria related to cost of raw material, transportation cost, machine cost, cost etc. are included. In this slide, various criteria are shown in a broad manner like cost of manufacturing, quality and quantity of product, time required for processing, level of skill labor required to produce a product, process supervision, energy consumption, availability of material, capabilities required to process material, product dimension and size, surface finish required, design tolerances, waste produced by the process, maintenance cost and other cost. One by one, we look at the each criteria in brief and understand how it will affect the selection of any manufacturing process. Let's look at the money point of view at the first. Sorry, money word is wrong for this subject. Economic point of view. Raw material cost is not only the cost included in the product cost, but it also include cost of tools which are used for the machining process, cost of supportive equipments like jig and fixtures in drilling and milling operation and cost of machine itself or depreciation cost of machine also plays a major role in product cost. Before selecting any process, first we need to understand what quality product should have and how much quantity we need to produce. We know that good quality always preferable by every buyer, but sometimes people only want quantity and they accept moderate quality of product. Quality increases the cost of product only when there is less amount of product are manufactured. In some areas where there is no compromise accepted in related to quality like space research, defense equipment, etc. Both quality and quantity can be achieved if we select proper process along with advanced machineries follow the standard procedure and connect all with automation. Another criteria is time required for processing. Time is more important in this fast moving world. Every process has pros and cons relating to consumption of time for performing the operations. Different processes require different time to complete the operation. Taking the same example of step bar again. If we want to manufacture a step bar, then there are three process from which we can manufacture a step bar. But when the time is concerned, casting process require more time in comparison with other two. Because first we need to melt the material in casting process and make the KVT. After completion of melting, we pour the molten metal into the KVT and we need to wait 
for solidification process then after finishing process is needed before the packaging day by day technology touches the new height and more and more advanced machines are developed for operating those advanced machine operator should adopt the sufficient knowledge about machine and take advanced training on that particular machine let's understand this criteria with an simple example if one person operate conventional lathe machine for more than 20 years and company gives new cnc lathe machine to operate it he is not able to operate it not because of his will power but because he does not have enough knowledge as well as does not have training on that particular machine he has experience but not on that new technology so before selecting process we need to understand that which kind of technology we are going to select and what kind of employees are required to perform different operations as we all know highly trained person charges more as compared with semi skilled person processes are always bifurcated in several steps each and every steps are monitored by the specialist if a process require more steps in manufacturing a product then it require more supervision and this will consume more manpower and at the end cost of the product increases another criteria for selection of manufacturing process is energy consumption electric energy is extensively used in manufacturing almost every machine works on electric energy no matter that machine is from primary processes or from the secondary processes or from the advanced manufacturing processes some process require less amount of energy to perform work but some consume more energy it is totally depend on machine that how much energy it will consume during the operation as i already described that there is no single type of material used in manufacturing process we need raw material along with supplementary materials like coolant and all these type of materials must be available throughout the manufacturing process process may stop even if raw material is available but supplementary material is not so before starting the process we must ensure that all type of material are available within the permissible time another important criteria is capabilities required to process the material if we decided to manufacture a product with the help of casting process but there is no sufficient electricity for the electric furnace available throughout the working time then we are not able to complete the manufacturing process in time so first we need to analyze the available capacity before starting the process i mention electric furnace which is used for melting the material in casting process if due to electricity problem we are not able to operate the electric furnace then we should go for the cupola furnace which is operate with the help of coal product dimensions and size shape size and dimension of product have major impact in manufacturing process selection let us take an example for better understanding we want to do machining on cylindrical bar and that bar has 100 cm diameter but we have lathe machine on which we can hold work piece with maximum 80 cm is it possible to perform machining operation on that machine a big question mark and the answer is not possible so before selecting a process we need to go through product dimension and its size image on this slide shows roughness value of different processes like lapping process grinding process 
and turning process along with actual metallic sample parts. Every process has merits and demerits in various stages. We can achieve 0.4 micrometer roughness value in turning operation on lathe machine and that is not suitable for all products. If we want to achieve extremely smooth surface then it is not possible to achieve on lathe machine. We need to go for lapping process or grinding process after machining on lathe or milling machine. We are applying grinding process on those surfaces which are going to mat or rub on the other surfaces for motion transmission or those surfaces which comes in contact with hand because no one want to injure their hand. Surface finishing obtained by investment casting is superior than the sand casting process. So we must look at the what type of surfaces are required before process selection. In addition to previous slide, this slide shows a wide plate on which different processes with different abrasive material are applied. You can easily distinguish the difference between all four stages. Product need large amount of work to be done on it to achieve mirror surface. Now we can easily understand that if we want to see our face on products metallic surface then we need to pay more for that. Another criterion affecting the selection of manufacturing processes is design tolerances. Tolerances are provided on the surface of the part and it is defined by the designer. It is very much important to manufacture a product within given permissible tolerance limit. In hot forging process, it is hard to manufacture a product within tolerance limit. If we compare hot forging process with machining process, then it is easy to achieve given dimension on machining process as we compare it with forging process. It is essential to manufacture a part within tolerance limit when we assemble different parts with each other to create one product. One of the most affecting criterion on the cost of product and selection of manufacturing process is wastage of material. Mostly it is generated during the machining processes. Because material is removed from the raw material in the form of chips. For example, you can see chips produced during the turning operation on the lathe machine in this photograph. Material waste in the form of burr is unwanted material which is produced during the machining operation on machines like lathe, milling, etc. Burrs are shown in this picture. The amount of material in the form of burr is less but it should be removed before the packaging process with the help of grinding and filing process. Now look at the picture placed on bottom right side of this slide. Plenty of coolant is needed during the high speed machining operation and it will not recirculate in a coolant pipe without filtration process. After many uses of that coolant, it should be disposed as industrial waste. Grease is used as a lubricant on mechanical parts. We need to apply it thoroughly on all the joints and on the mechanism. It will cost a little and it applied during the machine maintenance. Look at this photograph. This product is manufactured by the forging process. In forging process, flashes are produced and it is not the part of the design and this should be removed. Remove part become waste. This image shows before and after the grinding and cutting process. Another criteria is 
maintenance cost. Every machine requires maintenance and it should be done periodically without fail. Sometimes maintenance is done by the company itself and sometimes it requires machine manufacturer to do service intermittently. If we select a process which has more number of mechanical parts, then maintenance cost is high and it will incur in the product cost. So we need to select a process wisely. Other cost. Other cost like administration cost, design documentation cost also affect the selection process. In administration cost, cost of documentation along with all formal and informal paper costs are incurred in this. If company want to produce a product and some of the parts of that product need to be manufactured outside the company, then it requires many documentation works related to design of parts. The cost of paperwork is less, but it affects the final cost of product. All in all, we should select a process based on product's requirement because some product needs smooth surface while some need strength, some need accuracy in dimension and some products should be produced at low cost. So we need to take a look at the requirement first. Stay tuned for the remaining syllabus. Thank you.